we are participant to that. With this, I support this bill. Thank you. Thank you, <coughs> Manni Vikas Ranjanji. Dr. Fauzia Khan. Thank you very much, sir. Sir, Alfred Mahan has said, whoever controls the Indian Ocean dominates Asia. This ocean is the key to the seven seas. In the 21st century, the destiny of the world will be decided on its waters. Hence, sir, this is a very important bill, and I heartily welcome it. It fulfills the UN Convention on the law of the seas. The legislation is good. It has been elaborately discussed in the standing committee. There have been ministerial discussions on it. So uh, there's nothing that I would like to comment on the legislation as such, sir. Execution is the issue. Since India has a very large coastline, I think one of the largest coastlines <coughs> from many countries, now, uh, if you imagine the high seas, sir, and a crime taking place on it, I was wondering how we would go if we wanted to rescue, uh, how the location, how we would go to rescue the uh, people who are actually committing the crime. Also, after the crime is committed, sir, evidence is needed. So even that evidence I think uh, for that we need a very robust mechanism so that we are able to actually execute this. And as uh, my colleague here, uh, Mr. Sarkar, he was saying that uh, we are extending, extending our arm, but actually the executive arm is uh, very much more important here. As far as the maritime security management is concerned, sir, there is a multiplicity multiplicity of maritime stakeholders who often work at cross purposes. So we need to have adequate training of uh, marine police. We have to have adequate manpower for it. So are we prepared with all this? This is my question here, sir. Punishment is not the aim of the law. The aim, the law should help us to save lives from the aggressor, sir. It should also help us to gather evidence for investigation. So, sir, since every life is precious, these uh, vessels on the sea may be small fishermen's sh uh, boats, they may be cargo ships, they may be um, yachts of big tycoons, but every life is important. And I think the responsibility of security should also be on the citizens. Just as in la on land and in air, we have got a lot of safeguards. For cars, we have um, seat belts, we have airbags. So the onus, the responsibility lies with the person driving the car, that you should keep yourself safe. In the same way, we should have some safeguards for whether it's a small boat, small, big ship, whatever. They should have a dash camera. They should have radios or some way to signal some GPS system or something where there is network. All these things, sir, should go as <coughs> guidelines, I feel. And these um, will be very important. They should be made mandatory because these will help both in rescue and in gathering the evidence. Sir, I wouldn't like to comment more on this because it's a very good bill and it's a very needed one, sir. At the end, I'll just end with the words of Sahir Ludhianvi. Jung to khud hi ek masla hai. Jung to khud hi ek masla hai. Jung kya maslo ka hal ho gai? Jung kya maslo ka hal ho gai? This is the world today, sir. We have to have uh, a world where there is no war. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mani Dr. Sudhansu Trivedi.